What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. There's definitely not a satanic cabal in charge of Hollywood and the recording industry that pushes satanic messaging to all of our children. That's certainly not something that's happening at all. Oh, got it. Okay. It's just the Grammys last night. Oh, got it. Okay. Daddy, if you want to drop Oh, got it. Okay, so it's just a... So it's just a demon's... De like a, a lady in, surrounded by fire in a cage with demons around her. Okay, now now he has a Satan hat on. Who was it? Who could it possibly be? Was it... Oh, I don't know. Satan! But this was also something that was mainlined directly into programming that is appealing to children. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's not only satanic, it's also extremely cringe. Madonna and the entire world is talking about the Sam Smith performance, so we might as well hop on. Madonna started uh, this performance by being just deeply and, and wildly cringe watched. Dangerous. You are definitely onto something. That's where you make noise. You <laughs> What did Madonna look like? What is happening to Madonna? <laughs> oh, it's so great. Okay, so literal tribute to Satan. Viewer slam Sam Smith over demonic Grammy's performance. I mean, it is demonic. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this image. If I told you that this was from the Satanic Temple, you would say yes, absolutely. Everyone's saying Sam Smith is demonic. This is horrible. We're just going to let the devil perform. You know, the right probably uses the word satanic too often, but performance by Sam Smith is satanic. It's a, a literal tribute to Satan, this guy says. What is the satanic devil worship? Sam Smith performance. This is precisely what it was. The Sam Smith performance. Uh, that is what everyone is saying, that it is a, uh, a literal evil performance. The entire thing is an unashamed, unvarnished tribute to, sa to Satan, along with the demonic characters and the hat. So they're proud of it. These people won awards for their tribute to Moolock. This is how Sam Smith showed up on the uh, on the red carpet here, ladies and gentlemen. Liz Wheeler on Twitter. Don't fight the culture wars, they said. Meanwhile, demons are teaching your kids to worship Satan. I could literally throw up. This is evil, says Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz saying Pfizer taking the whole truth and advertising thing pretty literally. <laughs> what he's talking about. He's talking about the fact that... Uh, Boy, Pfizer had the most appropriate placed ad in uh, uh, advertising history yesterday after the satanic performance. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> just, just absolutely perfect here's what marjorie taylor green is saying uh sam smithers demonic performance was sponsored by pfizer satanic church now has abortion clinics in new mexico that require patients to perform satanic ritual before services american christians need to get to work man what is she talking about satanic temple has created a telehealth abortion clinic in new mexico called samuel alito's mom satanic abortion clinic does it feel as though the powers of evil are becoming more bold right now in society? They, don't, they would never uh, try this in the 1950s. These people would have been run, like run, they, they would have been run out of the country, quite frankly. And this is just this is completely sick stuff. So they're, in case you're wondering why we say that abortion is child sacrifice, well, here you go. From the post-millennial, Satanic Temple opens abortion clinic for religious rituals. Satanic Temple has created a telehealth abortion clinic in New Mexico called Samuel Alito's Mom's Satanic Abortion Clinic. It will provide abortion-inducing drugs to anyone who completes their satanic religious ritual, a health screening, and a virtual appointment. So there you go. You can go get your abortions done by uh, by these guys. They're getting more bold. They want to build a Satan statue at the Oklahoma 
state capitol. A New York-based satanic group has made a hell of a request. Satanic Temple unveils designs for a seven-foot-tall statue of Satan that it wants to put on the Oklahoma state capitol where the Ten Commandments monument was placed in 2012. A group formally submitted the application to the panel that oversees the capitol grounds, including the artist renderings that depicts, depicts Satan as a baphomet. So CBS <laughs> knows that this is uh, controversial because they don't show you the actual plans for the statue. We can show you satanic statues here in New York. You don't have to wait for this to maybe happen in Oklahoma, although I hope it doesn't. It's demonic. Ava tall gold statue with twisting horns and tentacles paying homage to abortion is erected in New York City. Locals mock it as a satanic eyesore. That's what it looks like. Look at this. And this is exactly what Sam Smith's performance is, by the way. Like the, okay, so you, you got to go so, kind of like into the, like into a little bit deep into the occult here to understand like what's what's happening and why this stuff, like why this stuff uh, is important and how these people, you know, how these people worship. The, the, what they what they what they worship as Satanists is they worship uh, humanity itself and its depravity. So it is important for humanity to prove that it is more powerful than the supposed God, okay, if you're coming at this from the satanic point of view, and, and to create our own designs, right? So human design isn't good enough. You see this all around culture, by the way. What you are, like, like everything from your race to your gender, all of it's not good enough. And so it must be undone. God's designs must be undone, and that's what you see in statues like this. It's not a human statue, Ladies and gentlemen, this is a is a statue of some type of demonic tentacle like creation with satanic horns on it. Right. It's being mocked mercilessly. But these people are actual I mean, these people are actual Satanists. Same vibes. <laughs> we had to jump into the fray here. Same vibes. According to the media, normal people, extremists. Yes. The people who are sitting there praying in church are the extremists. These are real photos of celebrity fashion. What is up with this? Yeah, this. Why is it always covering yourself in the red hellfire? Satanic red hellfire. It's sick stuff. Sam Smith's going to have to answer for it someday. The Sam Smith may answer for it in this life. <laughs> Here's Sam Smith's website with his brand new, this brand new tour. Look at all these tour dates. You got all these tour dates. It starts like next month. Look, at Sam Smith's going to be touring all around the world. Let's check in here. Here's um, Sheffield. This is like Sam Smith's hometown. Surely he's selling out his hometown, right? Here in uh, Sheffield. Oh, oh, there are tickets literally everywhere in the arena. Oh, got it. Okay. So there's tickets literally everywhere. This is the equivalent. I mean, the pound and the dollar have like parity at this point. So tickets are going for 50 bucks next to the stage. <laughs> oh, good. All of the tickets are still available. Ladies and gentlemen, get me photos from inside of Sam Smith. I, like, I'm going to now go on a holy crusade making fun of Sam Smith. Now he, he can't sell any tickets. Uh, people who can sell, however, or Pfizer, who loves to sponsor literally any demonic performance, we have the... Proof. Countdown to the Royal Wedding is brought to you by <laughs> Pfizer. And now a CBS Sports update brought to you by Pfizer. Meet the Press data download brought to you by Pfizer. This portion of CBS This Morning sponsored by Pfizer. On how to find the hidden sugars in the American family diet. Sponsored by Pfizer. <laughs> Making a difference. <laughs> brought to you by Pfizer. CNN Tonight. Brought to you by Pfizer. Early start. Perfect. Brought to you by Pfizer. <laughs> Friday night on Aaron Burnett out front. Brought to you by Pfizer. <laughs> this week with George Stephanopoulos is brought to you by Pfizer. Good Morning America is brought to you by Pfizer. CBS Health Watch sponsored by Pfizer. But nothing is nothing is ever, nothing will ever, ever top this. Demonic performance plus the flames. <laughs> Oh, man, it's too good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? You think this is a demonic performance? Am I am I am I the old church lady? Could it be Satan? Are all the church moms from your childhood 
Did they all just become right? After all, I personally believe this. Pride it does cometh before destruction. Pride is a uh, uh, pride is itself a tribute to Satan. And when evil believes that it is winning in the world, well, it will become more bold. It always has. You have to understand the nature of evil. You have to understand these people. And also these people who do worship Satan and Satan, Satan worship is a real thing. Go ahead and check out the uh, Nazi party and the occult. Just in case you're wondering uh, which, which side of history worships Satan. Um, you know, part of, part of this occult ritual is you, you have to be up front, you have to be you have to be forward with your beliefs. You have to be bo like bold in your satanic beliefs. You have to express your satanic worldview to everyone. Your humanist, goblin-like worldview. So that's what's happening here. They're just they're, 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 this is why you see all the signs. This is why you see always. Uh, these symbols all over the place inside of the entertainment industry because the entertainment industry is completely and totally and wholly owned by Satan. Dude, break it off. Send it into the sea. Give it to China, actually, hm. for all I care. Uh, this stuff is evil. That's what I believe. What do you believe? I mean, I, you know, I personally believe that these are, uh, this is Hollywood showing its true colors, worshiping de de demonic activity on this earth. And that's how these people believe they, they get power. Uh, again, tell us what you believe. Am I, am I making too big of a deal out of this? Oh, I certainly don't. Made, made my skin crawl, man. Whew. Made my skin crawl. Like touching a vampire with a cross. Like the the, the inverse of that. I, I like watch that. And I got all the heebie-jeebies. Let me know in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. Fear not, says the Bible. However, we do have triumph uh, over evil. And we do have power over evil. So fear not, saith the Bible, 365 times uh, uh, in the Bible. So that means one per day you get a fear not. So don't fear these people, these goofy, uh, uh, these these goofy, portly Satanists. Um, you shouldn't be worried about them, quite frankly. Um, we have ultimate victory over evil, and we can be confident in that. Uh, also, ladies and gentlemen, we can be confident that we are fighting together uh, and that Christians do have work to get done. And so now it's time to fight together. And that's what we do here on this program. Uh, we fight alongside with you uh, every single day and hopefully make you laugh and cry a little bit. Uh, this performance certainly made us do both. <laughs> oh. oh, how awful. How awful. These people want to raise your children. Don't let them, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, thank you so very much for watching. My name is Benny Johnson. See ya! Thank you for watching. Our channel's here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.